Uh, I think we should now go to the love pedal. I ordered Love Pedal purely and simply on the strength of the name. It's my favourite name of pedal ever. Again, very small range, uh, do some drive pedals, some uh, um, tremolo pedals, echo pedal, very cool. This one is the Eternity Fuse, uh, which again is another sort of, uh, you know, it's a, these are all, I guess, sort of, you know, mild drive pedals. So let's have a listen to this. Do you want your reference tone? Yeah, reference. I can't, I'm loving the fact that all these drive pedals, uh, what still comes through with a good drive pedal is all the great stuff about the guitar all the great stuff about the amplifier, all the great stuff about the player, just with cool drive. It's not like, I'm so sick of like, you know, those artificial sounding drive pedals yeah. where you can just get any guitar, any player, any amplifier, stick the drive pedal in and you all sound the same. It's just Having said that, sometimes that's a cool thing, and I think the next pedal does a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay, the, the last pedal in my, my uh, indulgent chain of pedals here is the Blackstar HT Jewel. Uh, you guys know we do a lot of Blackstar videos, I'm a real big fan of what Blackstar are doing. The uh, HT Jewel is actually one of their very first products, uh, it uh, has two gain circuits in it, uh, which are both independently foot switchable, so it's almost like two pedals in one, uh, each drive sounds slightly differently voiced, uh, and it also is tube driven as well, so unlike the, the, the other four that we've tried, this one is uh, tube driven, and I think you're right in that probably the Blackstar does have uh, it's uh, the most characteristic of them. In other words, I think it's the one where it's the most obvious that it's that it's probably a pedal rather yeah. than necessarily an amp. And it sounds black star. That's the it, thing, isn't it? It definitely sounds black star. I mean, so much so the the, the, the very cool thing on the black star is it has got a, a, an emulated DI output. So yeah. actually, it, you know, if you're recording or you, you know, you just a uh, lot of guitar players who um, gig and everyone, I'm sure you've had the same will turn up and, and at one gig they've got this amp to use, the next gig they've got a different amp to use or maybe different cabinets at each gig and they just know they want to have a pedal in their bag that they can go, look, doesn't matter what I'm going to plug through, I'm going to get a good sound from this. Yeah. And, the, and the Jewel is a, is a really good pedal for that. And my legs won't reach the button so you'll have to switch these on. So uh, channel one, green for channel one, let's go. <laughs> Proud of the statement. He'd be very proud. True. Boom! And channel two. Because there's more. There's more. It's a silly pattern. No, it's cool. And it, actually it's important to know as well, we're actually not that loud either, are we? We're very, very quiet. We'll get the decibel meter in a minute and we'll show you how loud we are. Hell, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Pass me up the decibel meter, which I purchased from an excellent electronics store in Guildford this morning. That is 103.9 decibels, which uh, for those of you who've seen some of our other How Loud Is This Amp uh, demos, is about the same as Chappers shouting loudly. So uh, it's not ear-splittingly loud at the moment. It's not. And that's tough to get a good drive sound from a tube amp when it you're is. not driving it hard. So um, I think now we'll, we'll, we'll crank the Cornford Carrera to a, a, a good dirt tone and then we'll stamp in yeah. that fat boost. I agree. And add some fat yeah, to the we lamp. We can stamp in. I'll, I'll back the gain off all the pedals. And <laughs> stomp them all in. I'll never bore of the chord of A. Uh, so this is a crunch tone on the Carrera. Fair enough to say that's yeah. stunning, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no pedals, it's fabulous this amp. We got the gain about halfway up on the on the amplifier, so now we're just gonna kick some pedals in whilst uh chap is played on that. So, so we'll start if with... I hold a chord and you you add yeah, in the yeah. fat boost, so here's a chord on the humbug. <laughs> To 
get it, get it. Yeah, that's got like a <laughs> I think we need to form that band. Oh, we do. We shall call ourselves Dreadful Zeppelin. Dreadful Zeppelin. Um, yeah. Let's just see what some of the other ones sound like over the top of a drop. Because the BB works well as well, isn't yeah. it? As I... That was the BB. Uh, I backed the gain off these a bit um, just to work as a boost. So this is the uh, love pedal now with a drive sound on the chord. Yeah. I'm not going to do it with the, the HT Jewel. I think if you wanted a boost pedal from Blackstar, you'd just buy the HT Boost yeah. rather than the HT Jewel. But we will have a little listen with the Box of Rock. This might get a little bit over the top. That's sweet. So now we're going to turn all the pedals off and uh, just show you what this sounds like flat out. And this is why yeah. Adam loves the Carrera. Yeah, I do. I, I, you know, for someone like me, who, you know, not a stadium rock player, just like to have a really, really great sounding tube amplifier for home. And, and you know, if I'm doing, just you know, getting a microphone, mic it up, or it will do small gigs. Um, and obviously, you know, you can mic up this and put it through the PA if you're doing bigger gigs, but. Let's just wind a little bit more. I'm going to add some, actually we haven't shown, it's got reverb built in too, but we're not using that. So yeah, we'll use a little bit of that. A little bit of reverb on. Um, just, a, just a touch more. Touch more. Just a touch more. But this is no pedals, Chappers, Strat, Carrera. Tone. that uh, English people make better amps than anyone else in the world. That's a fact from Lee Anderton. Yes. <laughs> so sue me. <laughs> well, I actually don't though. <laughs> or maybe do. I don't. <laughs> it's just there's lots of other great amp makers apparently. There are lots of other. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> How loud is a Cornford Carrera? <laughs> One hundred and thirteen point seven decibels. Yeah! I think the yeah really helps add to the excitement <laughs> of that video, doesn't it? <laughs> oh man! Has uh, two completely independently voiced drive circuits in there. Um, What's going on? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't because I was bored. It was because I'm knackered. <laughs>